So we are back once again, going to be taking a quick look at four retro games. Not these four cartridges, but one that has four games on it. So this is for the Evercade. Evercade sent me their latest cartridges, and we're moving along to the Delphine Software Cinematique Collection 1. So like always, physical packaging here. You know, you got a manual, full color manual, all sorts of information, some history behind the companies, behind the games, stuff like that. Really cool stuff to look at. My uh, case that this game came in was a little crushed. It was like falling apart. I don't know what's going on here, but pretty sweet stuff, you know, if you're into these kind of things. If you're not, that's okay. But we we just got four games this time. I've said it before, quality over quantity any day, any day of the week. But sometimes with these Evercade cartridges, it's going to be hit and miss for, you know, any individual. It could be some games you like, some games you don't. For me, this collection with these four games, there's two games on here that I like, and there's two games on here that's not really my style. I'm not saying anything's bad. It's just that not every game's going to be for everyone, but we got stuff like Another World, we got Flashback, we got Future Wars, Time Travelers, and then Operation Stealth. But let's talk about these games real quick. So Another World. This game is pretty short if you know what to do, but... All of these games here, all of these games, not really like, hey, you could just jump into it and get going and, and have a blast. This isn't Super Mario where you just run around jumping on things. Another world, how this game starts out, everything's like, got to be pixel perfect, man. Uh, you know, it's like a, a science experiment gone wrong. You wake up in another world in some water. If you don't realize, hey, this is no longer a cutscene, you're dead. So you got to swim up, get out of there before the tentacles grab you, and then start walking away. Like walk to the right, walk to the left, just explore, you know? But as soon as you go to the right, there's some like little worms walking around on the floor. You get a little too close to them, guess what? They instantly kill you. Everything instantly kills you in this game. It's just the way it is. You have to be pixel perfect and kick these fools right in their stupid worm heads before they slash your leg and you just die. Guess they're venomous or something. Whatever, but that's how this game is. That's how a lot of these games are. And it's not bad. It's just a fairly short game, but you can't go into this thinking that you're just going to blast through it if you don't know what you're doing. Nobody told you what to do in the game. You haven't looked up walkthroughs or, or videos, that kind of thing. It is a frustrating game. It can be a frustrating game of continually dying over and over again until you figure out what to do. You know, once you get past those worms and that creature's chasing you, if you don't turn around and run the second, that thing's like, you're dead and you got to start the whole thing over again. That kind of sucks. But you know what? Sometimes these games that are a little frustrating, they can be a little fun, you know, because once you figure things out, there's like this sense of relief and accomplishment type of thing. And that's kind of where this game is. It's not too long of a game. So the frustration shouldn't set, you know, shouldn't be there through the whole time. You kind of, you know, figure it out early on. Like, hey, I have to be quick with what I'm doing here. I have to line things up. I got to take my time when time permits me to take my time and then run like hell when I need to and be quick to do so. Otherwise, you're screwed. But yes, this game, I like it. It's one of the better ones on this set of four games. Now, next up is a flashback. Flashback, I, you know, flashing back to some memories of this game. I really like this one. I've played through it a few times in the past. It's got an interesting story. Yeah, your memory's erased. You don't know who you are. You're trying to restore your memories type of thing, these weird aliens out there. This game's a lot less uh, trial and error than Another World, uh, and it's quite a bit longer of a game as well. And it, it's like you don't instantly die when you start playing this game. This is one that always seemed a little more accessible a little more involved than another world even though i really like another world it's just a can be a frustrating experience at first with that one this one less so uh, you're trying to get back to earth restore your memories you're exploring solving puzzles you know fighting things you have a weapon right off the bat you don't have to worry about kicking freaking snails in the head or slugs in the head this one's fun i i do enjoy this one to this day it's a game that i've played numerous times in the past but now let's uh let's move on to the final two here um oh my god future wars time travelers like this is not like i thought these other two games because i've never heard, i've never played these before if, if you have a uh, nostalgia for them great but not everybody does so 
for some people, some of these games may be new to them. That's just how it goes. For me, Future Wars Time Travelers is a new game for me. Never played it before. I thought it was going to be uh, seeing like the, the screenshots, stuff like that. I thought it was going to be like flashback in another world, but it's not. It's like a point and click type of thing where you use the A button to click where you want to walk, and then you got to interact with things, find things. And it's kind of like a little iffy at times, clicking on stuff, trying to figure out what to do. It's a very clunky game. Uh, it, it, it just is. But, you know, if you can't figure out the right order of doing things, you can't progress. I, I just got annoyed. Like, this is not my style of game. I've liked some, like, point-and-click type adventure games before, but this isn't quite like that. It's a little a little different but same premise and just not not really for me now the next one operation stealth um very very similar to future wars uh in the in the sense that like you're pointing and clicking stuff uh you know it's a little stealth adventure type thing and this one it's really annoying because there's so many like there it's it's way more complicated i think than future wars as far as like the stuff you could do or look through just starting the game it's like okay where am i supposed to go like okay i i'm going on a i'm like in an airport great then it's like hey where's your passport you show the passport that you have in your pocket uh you know the inventory you have and then it's like is it a game over what the hell is going on here like oh now you're a hostage you're getting taken away and then it just stays on the screen with the story of what the hell just happened and you can't continue, you can't do anything. I don't know if it was a glitch or if that's just the way it is, but that was that was frustrating. That was annoying. I'm like, I showed the dude my damn passport. He wouldn't let me pass without showing the passport. What else am I supposed to do here? Right? Don't I freaking... It, it was wonky. It's, it's wonky. It's a wonky game. But some people, like, I've looked it up. People really like these games. For me, it's just not my style. You know, I did eventually figure it out. Oh, you have this briefcase. I knew I had a damn briefcase where I got the damn passport from. But there's another passport, like, hidden in there. That How the hell would you know? Like, nobody gave you a brief on any of this stuff. Like, there's another passport hidden in a secret compartment. And then you could print whatever country you want on it so they don't think you're, you know, an American and you're going to get taken hostage and you got to go hide in the bathroom. But there's a lot of weirdness here with the way these games work. But, like, hey, I'm not saying any game here is bad, so don't get pissed at me. I'm just saying I don't like these two games. I don't like Operation Stealth and uh, Future Wars. Another World and Flashback. I've played these games before. I have a little bit of nostalgia, especially for Flashback anyway. Uh, but those are games that I've enjoyed. I've played through them in the past. And I had fun, you know, jumping back into them again today on the Evercade. But these other two games, just not my style. Just the way it goes. Not everything's going to be for everyone. Don't get mad at me. Just that's the way it is. There's things you like that I probably don't like. And I like that you probably don't like. So, yeah. Yeah. Let's just, can't we all just get along? Appreciate you guys. Let me know what you think. Bye.